Hey, what's happening, dudes? It's late at night. The reason that I'm doing this later than usual is because, well, I got home from work and I was expecting this package, uh, but it didn't come until right as I was leaving for bowling league night. So I'm back from bowling now. Did okay. I got a 171 on my second game, so not too bad. But there was no way I was going to let this wait until tomorrow to check out, so let's do it. This is from OG Goat. If you don't know who they are, they are a uh, aftermarket knife scale um, company. They make scales for knives. And in here we have some aluminum AD20.5 scales. Been very excited about these. What is this? Little coupon. All right, let's check these babies out. I really wanted to get the titanium, but I just couldn't afford it. They're too expensive, but wow, these are light. This is raw aluminum, so as far as I know, it should kind of develop a patina or, you know, it might like shine up in certain areas. Um, so we'll have to see. But I think this is going to class up the knife quite a bit. I really like the milling on there. This milling pattern is called the Tesseract on the OG Goat website. That looks great. Well, what do you think, guys? Should we put them on? I think we should. I've never taken apart an AD 20.5 before, so this is going to be my first time. Hopefully, I don't mess it up too badly. I know there's a spring involved, so I need to be aware of that, not to let it go flying. But we're going to try this uh, live, not live, but we're going to try this for the first time while I'm recording and uh, hopefully it goes well. So let's just dive right in. What do we got for the pivot? Is that a T10? Yep. T10 pivot and then is that T6 is for the body? Yep. Let's try the T7 just in case. Nope, T6s. All right, I guess we want to start with the pivot, or should I start with the body screws? Let's start with the body screws. Here we go. Diving in. One body screw out. Two body screws out. That one had a little bit of thread locker on it. And then it looks like this one is also um, a clip screw on the other side. But hopefully we'll just need to pop this one out. Yep, looks like it's free. Let's get the pivot screw out. Carefully. Very carefully. Pivot screw out. Now let's carefully lift this off without letting the spring go anywhere. Come on. Okay, the spring is under the liner. <coughs> okay, let's lift the liner off carefully. Carefully, carefully. Come on, little doggy. There we go. All right, so the spring is in there. That looks pretty secure. Now, I also purchased some um, barrel spacers instead of a new back spacer. So let me grab those. There they are. 
I could have gotten a, an aluminum backspacer for it, um, but I just didn't feel like spending the money, and I think it'll look pretty good with the barrel spacers on it. So let's see, how do I... Oops, there goes the bearings. Um, okay, I'm going to have to take off the other side of these body screws. You know what, I'm realizing now I'm going to have to... crap. I think I'm going to have to do this side first. There's no way to take out the pivot from this side. So, crap. Yep, I think we're gonna have to do that. All right, let's pop this liner back off. Let's take the blade off. Gently, gently, gently. Stay right there, spring, please. Take that off. Take our pivot out. We're just going for it. It's all coming out. Stop pin, does that come out? Maybe we don't need to touch that. All right, let's take these freaks out again. We're gonna get it. We're gonna get it. I might edit this because this probably isn't very entertaining or interesting, but we'll see. Come out. Okay, it's coming out. I'm gonna put my body screws over here so I don't confuse them with anything else. Pocket clip off. I said pocket clip off. There we go. All right, now can we gently remove the liner? Yes, we can. Okay. Please don't move spring, please. I beg you. I'm begging you. Okay, we're good. We got her off. We got her off. New scale. Come on, baby. Okay. New scale. Okay. I should have done that from the beginning. Okay. Now, body screws back in. Um, where did I put... Big body screw. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. Okay. Body screw number one. Good boy. Good boy. Liner is on. Let's put some lube in there. Grab a Q tip. Clean her out a bit. Little bit of lube. Um, skiff bearing. Actually, let's put our pivot in first. Flat side up. Skiff bearing on. This knife was already very smooth before, so I mean, it's just going to be whew, a dick. Yellis. Um, let me wipe that off. Okay. Oh, interesting. It has. Are these detent holes? Interesting. Little spot of lube. Put the blade on. I think we need to pull down on this lock. 
to... Oh, oh my god, the spring just went. But I got it, don't worry. I got it. It didn't fly away. Crap, I was hoping that wouldn't happen. Okay. We're alright. Let's get the spring back in there. That was easy. Spring's back in. We're okay. We avoided disaster. Okay, blades on. Cool, 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 cool. Spot a lube around the pivot. Skiff bearing number two. And that's going to stay. I please hope to God. Liner number two. We're looking good. We're looking very good. Okay. Now it's time for... Right? Yep. The scale. Last scale. Ooh. It's fitting good so far, folks. Let's put our pivot screw in. I said put my pivot screw in. Body screws. We're so close, dude. I'm already loving the look of this. Definitely said raw aluminum. They they do sell coated versions of these scales. You can get them with um, uh, a colored coating. Um, but I'm a raw boy. I like things raw. That way they can patina. Pretty sure this will patina. I mean, it's raw aluminum. It's gotta do something, right? I would think. All right, it's going very well. Last screw. Then we're gonna go through, make sure everything's tight. And we'll test our action. Probably adjust our pivot. Okay, that side's tight. Check the other side. Tighten it up. Tighten it up gently because they are T6s. Tight, 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 tight. All right. That is freaking it. Tighten my pivot all the way down just to make sure it's seated, and then I'll back it off. Oh boy. Any blade play? Nope. Definitely sounds a little different. Oh. I'm going to back it off a little bit more and just see. Still no blade play? No, nope, I have a little bit. I'm guessing it just needs to probably break in again. You know, it's got brand new bearings, brand new everything. But it is still definitely drop shedding. Whew. All right. I like these guys. Definitely changes the feel of the knife, for sure. Let's get some close up. Wow, I'm at 27 minutes. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna have to edit this, guys. That took way too long. Cool. No blade play. Something's jiggling on the up and down. I don't know what that is. I think it was like that before, though. 
I think it's just the lock moving. Awesome. They smell? Nope. Cool, guys. Well, thanks for bearing with me. Uh, I'm going to edit the video, so it'll probably be shorter when you guys watch it. Um, man, that looks good. It looks so much better. So much better. I can't wait to eventually get the titanium ones. That's going to be a real freaking game changer. The action is just as good as it was before. Sounds different, a little more clacky. All right, there you have it. The raw aluminum Tesseract scales from OG Goat. Check them out. I believe they were around 60, 65 bucks. And there's free shipping right now. So go to OGGoat.com and check them out. Thanks for watching.